Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how an admin for the MeasureSquare group on the cloud can now edit and change the sharing options for the different IDs within that group. So I'm logged in as an admin. So I control this group and I have a group of IDs within this group that I can see through my login. So as you can see on the left side, I'm under group management group members. If you're familiar with the settings, you can see what we call project providers and project subscribers. When any individual comes to this section, they can see their own only. So for example, I have a few under providers, which means, which means they will provide their projects to me automatically when they sync and then when I sync. And then for the subscribers, these will be the folks who receive the projects I create. So now we can go back to group management, go to group members. This is also a section where an admin can create new IDs within that group and then assign licenses and edit these settings as well. So for example, if I want to edit the, this first ID here and share some projects to dflow, I can now select action and then select edit project subscribers. Now there are a few options here that are set by default. We can choose to share all projects, which means past, present, and future, or just share new projects, which will mean it will only share projects from this point going forward. So if they have, let's say 100 projects already, those will not be shared. The can edit is essentially a way to make this a read only file. If you select can edit, that means when that person receives this, or I receive any projects, I or them can edit them even if I'm not the owner or creator. This is great for collaboration. If you only want them to be able to view, maybe just open it up and print it, or just view it, you can select no, and they'll only be able to open the file, not make any changes and save it. So to add an ID, I'm gonna select this text box and just start typing. And it will start to fill in the IDs that are only available in this group. So an ID has to be in your group in order to do this. So as you can see, Delia shows up. I'm gonna select that ID. So I don't, I don't need to type the whole thing. Once it pops up, just select it. And then it still is not added. Our last step is to actually hit add. And now you'll see it pop up right here. An important aspect of this is if that ID has a lot of projects, it may take some time after you click add for it to pop up down here. So it is only finished once you see it pop up under this list. So if it takes a few seconds, that's okay. It just depends on the internet connection and the amount of projects to be added. So now once that is done, I can just close this box. And let's say we want to check on Dalia's here. I can go into edit project providers and now you'll see that since Alan was added, it will automatically show up here. So it's a two-way relationship. One, per one person's provider is the other person's subscriber. So this is an easy way you can manage these types of sharing options with your own group, create sharing trees if you have different branches here, you can see there's a tag system that you can add to the IDs. So if you want to split people up by branches or stores or anything like that, you can easily add those tags here to make it easier to sort the IDs. If you need to remove, it's a similar process. Go to actions, I would select project subscribers in this case, select here and then hit delete. It will ask me if I'm sure, okay. And that will remove them. An important note of that option is that it will not delete the projects that have already been shared. It will just essentially reassign them to that ID. So if you do need those projects removed, that person would just need to go in there on their own and delete those projects from the cloud. As always, thank you for watching. Please like the video and leave a comment if you prefer and have a great day.